Welcome. 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 Hey, right? Welcome Blue Carpet Farm. We're outside the Hunter Club. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us on London Lens TV. Anytime. This is the second ever episode, so. Hey. Sequel. This time it's personal. It's personal. <laughs> oh, right, okay. So for people who've never seen you, what is the Blue Carpet Band? We're a five-piece garage punk rock and roll band. Dirty rock and roll. Dirty rock and roll. Oh. Ready to fucking bring back some real music to the mainstream. Oh, fair enough, yep. All, all agree on that? Yeah. Right, this one's this one's for Jamal. Yeah. So you have a and energy on stage. There's a cross between Mick Jagger, Iggy Pop, Elvis. Look, trying to make assumptions. Who inspired you as a child? D as far as you were as a child. Oh, as a child? Yeah. Um, and who, and who you? Know, I mean, you, you mentioned all of them in there, but... Yeah. Uh, you, and who inspires you now? Let's start this again. Uh, I'm <laughs> a massive fan of... Elvis Presley, as you know. Yeah. But I also love a lot of uh, Iggy Pop. Uh, Lux, Gramps, it's all me. Uh, I'm a big, big, big fan of Bobby Darren, which is not many people know. Bobby Darren is where I'm from. Back to life. Who? Bobby Darren. Oh, yeah, for Bobby Darren. Alright. As a rock and roll garage band, you cross generous scenes very easily, which is, like, which is quite common these days. Uh, in general, what kind of. Uh, Sorry, what kind of What's what do you say? As a rock and roll garage band, you cross genres and scenes these days, so... Yeah, that's, that's one, I think one, of the, one of the great things about this band, uh, and, and what I enjoy is we can play pretty much anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. And it goes down well, even if it's surprising, we played everything for, you know, like a sports with like just hardcore punk bands. And people I would expect them would like our kind of rock and roll sound figures. And we played everything from family friendly festivals. Psychobilly festivals as well, sometimes in the same weekend. So to have that kind of privilege as any any band uh, of uh, any era is, is great. So yeah, it's something that we, we love playing in various styles um, and something we appreciate for sure. What do you think makes the Blue Copper Band stand out to the other bands? Re very similar to what we just said. Like, he, like going back to his influence, he's got a very rock and roll and almost jazz influence in the way that he sings and his kind of on-stage persona, if you will. And we've all had our various backgrounds of, 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 of influences and stuff. So I think what gels together is, it is like you say, very rock and roll, but maybe with a, uh, maybe more a gen energetic pulse and a little bit more variety because of, of, of our musical background. Yeah, I mean, I think it's also a live energy, you know, not seen, we've got a couple of bands coming out from us now with this kind of live energy. It hasn't really happened before since the Parkinson's, I guess. So, you know, Rock and Roll was dead. Parkinson's brought it back to life in about 2000, 2000 actually. Uh, and then, you know, it died a little bit again. Then you got some bands like The Cavemen, Suicide Generation, you know, Billy Scarish Brothers yeah. coming out, and ourselves, I guess. Really, you know, Bring Out the Live. But yeah, it's like for the wide, wide range of things. But also, it's the live stage presence, I think. The biggest thing at the moment is a lot of bands are standing there looking at the mic stand, looking at the floor, shoe gazing, thinking it's cool. Personally, I think it's cool to go out there and have a good time and hope you've got a good time. We want to play like we're fighting for our life. Every you show, like the signal floor. You want to enjoy being on stage. You want to make it a stink. Yeah. It's a performance, a good performance. Do you think, it, well, I suppose the next question is probably a bit sort of similar as well. The difference between the audiences, the gigs, like different, the jo different people, different genres of people, and yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. We play a couple of gigs where the crowd maybe sees a bit stagnant because they they're probably expecting a bit different. Yeah. Uh, but even the evening gigs where we've turned up and we're playing five people by the end of the set, we've got a full house. We're very lucky to have a sound system that's all the people there. Hope to write songs like that. It makes a difference sometimes geographically, sometimes. You know, I think a city, let's say like London, you have a city that comes to mind like that, like Berlin, where you have a, a huge variety and you support the choice of bands. Every band wants to come here, every band wants to play here, every uh, person who goes to a gig has seen everything. You know, so it kind of, in my aspect, you, 
you've got it all there, but in some aspects you can work a little bit harder, but then in other aspects you can go to, if you can go to somewhere where bands don't always go, and you pick the right time and the right place, those people who don't get to see shows every weekend, they come to the town, go absolutely well. Dublin's a great place to play. Bleeding deadly! <laughs> there's, there's a lot of Dublin has a bad Dublin again has a, a variety yeah, 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 and you are yeah, competing yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can compete and you can compete. I, I, I like the, like the last two times in Dublin in particular I really really enjoy it. in mm. particular I liked it every time the last two times really great. Playing in another company, where would it be and why? Yeah. Cool, I mean Brazil, uh, great one. Again mainly, mainly we want to teach us to yeah. Agree with us. <laughs> you know, well, that's what we are. We are the band from Teach Well, that was going to be the next question. What's, well, what's the most important thing you've learned since you started the band? Well, again, I mean, I, I was running Teach Arts and I started working at Teach Arts at the time. And, um, you know, we, the, the name came from Teach Arts and we had a rehearsal space upstairs. Cheers Blue Carpet Band and thanks a lot for doing the interview outside the, outside the Hunter Club. Thank you London Lens. Alright, nice one. Cheers, thank you.